morning, everybody. Today's class is going to be a level 1.5 FIT class. Um, I will be using some hand weights. They are three pounds, mainly because that's, oh, three pounds, because mainly that's all I have. Um, and if you have a fit ball or a rolled up towel or something similar to a fit ball, you can add that in. This is not required. Um, neither are required, but we are going to be using the weights for a little bit of arm work. So we're going to start standing <clears throat> and we're going to do some lunges with some arms. So feet are nice and grounded. Oh, I almost forgot our roll downs. We're going to do some weighted roll downs. So inhale through the crown of the head. Exhale, nod the chin into the chest, curve down, bend into the knees, be kind to that low back, be kind to those hamstrings. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, scoop the belly button up, point the tailbone down, start in the spine, chin comes up last. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, curling down, pretending my back is up against an imaginary wall as I peel one vertebrae at a time off of that wall. Inhale here. Exhale, pull the belly button up. Stacking the spine one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale at the bottom. And then we'll go into our lunging. We're going to <clears throat> use our right foot first. So you're going to carefully step out. Straight legs. Woo, find your balance here. Wide stance is more stability here. Up on the toes of the back leg. And then you're just going to find that spot where when you bend the front knee, the knee is above the ankle. And then we're going to go out to a T. And then up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. On this one, we're going to hold here and we're just going to pulse the legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up to standing, bring it back in, <laughs> and then we'll do the opposite side. So wider base with the feet means more stability, more narrow lunge, less stability. We're going to take our left leg forward, nice and straight. We're back up on the toes of the back leg. And instead of the arms going out to a T this time, we're going to bring them forward. So we're going to go up into our lunge. And then out. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. One and hold, and then we're just going to pulse the legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the leg, arms go down, push up, and back to standing. Good, now we'll do our side lunges. So I'm going to take a wide stance here, parallel the feet. Palms are going to face forward because we're going to bicep curl. As we go to the right, so we're going to bicep curl. I'm lifting my toes with my left legs, and then I'm coming up, and then I'm switching. Alternating sides. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Good. 
Breathe in, I lost count, so I'm gonna do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna hold and pulse here for a little tiny bicep with the arms and then pulsing with the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up, switch sides, and pulse for 10, nine, eight, find your rhythm, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, <clears throat> turn the feet out to a wide second position. <clears throat> And then you're going to bring your hands up, and as you go down into a wide second position squat, you're going to um, skull crush here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, hold here and pulses with the arms and the legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up nice and tall, hands go down by your side. Parallel the feet and we're gonna do a roll down here. If that doesn't feel good for your spine, you can always hinge from the hips. We're just gonna get a back of the leg stretch here. My weight goes into the toes of my feet, so I'm not back on my heel. Getting a nice stretch, just release here with each exhale. Maybe rock from side to side of the hips. And then we'll add some arms here. We're gonna go out and down. Out and down, bending at the elbows. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holding here, you're going to curl up or hinge up, squeeze the glutes, pull the legs together. Whew, nice and tall. Good. We're going to place one weight down. We only need one. We're going to grip it in front. We're going to go down into our squat, and we're going to rotate, 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 back to center and lift. So it's two times to each side. Down. Up. Down. Feel the obliques. So even though we're going into a squat, we're rotating from the Abdominals. Up and. And back up. We're going to switch the side we go to first. Going to the left, then the right. And up. Two, three, four. Center and up. Down. One, two, three, four. Center and up, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, just rotating around that spine. And up, and then release. All right, you're gonna grab your weight again, and we're just gonna hold the weights down here, and we're gonna do calf raises. Actually, let's take our hands to um, goal post arms. And we're going to lift up onto the toes as we go straight up to the ceiling with the arms and then control up on the way down. My feet are hip distance apart. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. Three. Even pressure throughout all ten toes, making sure you're not rolling out or in with the feet or the knees. Already feeling the burn here, getting nice and sweaty. Good. 
four more. Exhale up, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale down. Going slower might be more difficult. Feel your articulation in the feet. And try not to use momentum to lift up and down. It's a little bit of a balance challenge too. And then back down. Two more. And lower. Last one. Ooh. And lower. And then lower the arms. And we'll go down onto the mat. So take your weights with you. We're going to go into bridging here. So you can place your weights down on the ground and we'll transition without the weights as we curl all the way down. One vertebrae at a time. And then adjust yourself. Find those weights again. We're going to take our elbows in by our sides. I've got to adjust my pony because it's only in the way of my head resting comfortably on the mat. Sorry. Okay. There we go. All right. So I have a nice long spine. Elbows are hugging in. Feet are planted hip distance apart. And you're going to punch up with the arms as you lift the hips. Remember, don't thrust the hips up. You're reaching the hips up. Very intentional, very controlled. Exhale up, hugging everything in towards the midline. My shoulders are my anchor down into the mat, but there's no tension in my neck. And then inhale down. Or you can exhale down. Actually, let's exhale down. We're going to exhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. Lifting. And you can choose to curl the hips or just lift the hips in a neutral spine. That's up to you. Inhale at the top, exhale, control it on the way down. Nice and slow, two. Three. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Your hands stay shoulder distance apart, so they're not coming together. They're shoulder distance apart. And then control it on the way down. Lift, inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, I'm sorry, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, control it as you lengthen back down. Inhale, lift, I'm sorry, exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Good. Two more. Last one, we're going to hold at the top. Holding here, you're going to skull crush for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Holding here, you're going to open for ten. Nine. Eight. Don't let those hips fall. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And then we'll carefully place the spine back down. Good. Arms come down. You can release the weights down by your side. We're going to do spine twist, supine. So arms go out to a T, palms facing up towards the ceiling. The shoulders are away from the ears. No tension in the neck. Bring one leg up into tabletop. Then bring the other leg up. Squeeze the legs together. You're going to inhale over, getting a nice spinal twist. Use that top oblique to pull everything back in. Inhale over. Exhale back in. Inhale over. 
Exhale back in with cowboy. Inhale over. Exhale back in. Good. Just wringing out the spine here, decompressing it, finding a little more length. Inhale. Feels really good. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Bringing it back to center. We're going to do a modified corkscrew. Come on, baby. Move. Dog Pilates. <laughs> We're going to do a modified corkscrew. So I'm going to keep my arms out to a T. I'm going to bring my knees over to the left. I'm going to circle down and around to the other side. Sorry, cow. And then back through center. Now don't lose the spine. Keep the connection to the abdominals as you circle the hips down and around. So only make a big enough circle where you can control the abdominals. Inhale over, exhale, down and around. Inhale over, exhale, down and around. Good. And two more on each side. Last one. And then hug the knees in. Rock side to side, getting a little nice stretch. And then we're going to go into leg pull. Cowboy, you're going to have to move. Sorry, buddy. Move, move, move. We love you. All right. So you're going to reach the right leg nice and long on the mat. Reach the left leg straight up. You're going to cup behind your calf. Now, if you can't reach your calf, it's okay to cup behind the hamstring, but we're not interlacing our hands. We're just holding. Your chest lifts. Elbows are bent. Shoulders are wide. You're going to exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Get this leg all the way down to the mat. The only pulsing leg is the top leg. Less challenging. Um, 
when our feet are on the same plane as our hips, it makes it a little bit more challenging. So for lack of better term, or for back, lack of better cueing, we're gonna find that plumber's crack. So that ball is kind of wedged right there, so it's not gonna roll anywhere, but my spine is nice and tall. Feet are hip distance apart, arms go out in front. Pull the shoulders back, you're gonna inhale as you hinge until you find those earthquakes. Right about there, keeping the head in alignment. Exhale, lifting through. Inhale, hinge. Changing nothing in the spine. Exhale, lift. I adjust my ball. It's a little bit flat and I don't know where the pump is. All right. Inhale, hinge and hold. Finding length in the spine in this hinged position. Exhale, lift. See if you can relax your hip flexors and recruit those abdominals when you're in that hinged position. Holding. Lifting up. On this next one, we're going to hold. Holding here, you'll rotate towards the left. Now we're not rounding as we rotate, we're just swiveling around that spine. Make sure there's even pressure through both systems. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, rotate, find that length. The arms are long for the ride, they're not swaying in the way. And back to center. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, four more, to each side, find that strength in the spine, don't let it relax, remember less about those hip flexors, more about those abdominals, and the last one, and then hinge forward and then round the spine forward. I like to bring my head between my knees if I can. Just rounding the spine, releasing the back. All right. Okay. Moving forward, we are going to go into side planks. So um, if you want an added weight, you can have one weight in your hand, um, your top hand. We're going to start planking on my left side. So you can pick which side. We're going to do both sides. It doesn't really matter. All right. So elbow goes down. For this side plank, I'm going to stack my legs one on top of the other. So I don't have one foot in top of the other. I'm making a very narrow base, a little more challenging. And... I'm going to lift up into my side plank. Arm goes up. Good. And you can add lifts and lowers of the arms. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it up. And then you're going to dip the hip and lift for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the arm down, lower the hips down. Good job. All right, let's swing our legs around, switch the weight into the other hand. We're going to do the other side. Getting into those obliques. Now when I'm in my side plank, I'm making sure my elbow is directly below my shoulder and I'm not letting my lower obliques drop down towards the mat. I'm trying to keep a nice long line from top of the head all the way through to the bottom of my feet. All right, so stacking the legs on top of one another, flexing the feet just to give yourself a little bit more of a kickstand there. And then find that shoulder stability before you lift 
up into your side plank. And then we're gonna lift for 10, nine. And you can do this without the weight too, just lifting and lowering the arm. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, dip the hip down and lift. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, whoo, little unbounce, two, and one. Bring the arm down, then lower the hips. Good work. All right. Ooh, had a little pop in my ankle. We're gonna go ahead and go into full plank here so you can place the ball between the knees here. I know I haven't used the ball very much. Or your rolled up towel, whatever you prefer. You don't need the ball, it's just a little added connection towards our midline. So we're gonna plank from our hands. So for those of us who have wrist issues, you can fold the mat and rest the heel of your hand right on the edge to kind of alleviate any pressure, just like this. Um, because we want to give ourselves uh, move, uh, room to move, and if we're on our elbows, that doesn't give us much room, because we're going to go into panther and add on to our plank, or also known as jackrabbit, where if you were planking on the reformer and we would push the carriage in and out, that's kind of what we're emulating here. So, stepping back, find your perfect plank, squeezing that ball. Let's do a couple squeezes on that ball for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go into Panther or Jackrabbit, sink the hips back, find a nice long line from fingertips to tailbone. Exhale, spring out. Inhale in, exhale, spring out. Inhale in. Adjust your hands if they're slipping. Squeeze everything in towards the midline. When you spring out to that plank. And two more. And last one, hold. Lower the knees. And let's do three push-ups here. Bend the elbows back and push up. Inhale down, exhale, push away from the earth. Tuck the toes, hinge the hips up. So that was three push-ups. Now mind you, if those knee push-ups were not challenging enough, you can always do regular push-ups. Just be careful that you're not letting your shoulder blades glide when you push up. We just want the bending at the elbow and then pushing back up. Keep those scapula wide on your back ribs um, because Pilates push-ups are pec push-ups. So that's what we're targeting. And literally, the only movement really comes from the elbows and the wrists. All right, so we're gonna go in and do five more push-ups here. Bend and straighten for five, four, three, two, one, tuck the toes, hinge up into your up stretch. Breathing here. Hinge forward, drop the knees or keep the knees lifted up to you. And we're gonna do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hinge the hips up into the up stretch. Bend the knees down, sink back into your rest position. You can take the ball away. Breathe into those back ribs, so opening up the chest, opening up the back. No tension in the neck. Arms are long, they're not relaxed. They're reaching, getting a nice stretch here. 
and then you're going to curl up and we're going to go into <clears throat> some back extension. Let's get some back extension in. So we're going to do basic back extension. Actually, let's do double leg kick. I really like double leg kick. So you're going to rest your right cheek on the mat. You're going to interlace your hands behind your back. It's a nice stretch through the shoulder. You're going to raise your hands as high as you can on your back and then drop your elbows down to the mat. You're going to have superwoman legs or superman legs reaching out zipped up together for, so it's one super leg. My knees are lifted off of the mat. You're going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift, reaching out. And then rotate the cheek. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale out. And rotate the cheek. Remember this for March Madness. And last one. Actually, I'll add one more. And then release. Again, push back into your rest position. Knees go as wide as the mat, toes together. Sink the hips back, reaching nice and long. Get your forehead down to the mat if you can. And breathe. And then curl up. And we're going to go into um, mermaid here. So, seated mermaid, hand goes out. So, I'm at a hinged position here, arm is down. And I'm going to drop my elbow down as I reach up and over. Now, I'm still trying to reach this top hip down and away from my armpit, getting a nice arc position. And then I'll come up, grab onto my ankle, and sideways. Then I'm going to come up, hand goes down, reaching up and over. And then come up and reach up and over. And last one on this side, reach up. Getting a nice side stretch. And then come up and reach. And I'll kick the legs out. Switch the feet. Hand goes out, so I'm angled through the torso, but I'm not slouching to one side. I have a nice tall spine. I'm just hinged over slightly. I'm going to drop my elbow down as I reach up and over. Spiraling my chest up towards the sky. This is my tighter side. And I'll come up, grab onto my ankle, and counter stretch. And one more time. And then we will come up to standing and we will end with our roll downs. So feet will look like a number 11, hip distance apart. You can have your hand weights if you would like to, to really compare how they're different from the ones at the beginning of class, or if you want them to be a little bit more relaxed and if you don't need the hand weights, you can do them with that. So hands go down by your side, pull the belly button in, Point the tailbone down, getting a little bit taller through the spine. Hopefully the spine feels a little bit lighter right now. Exhale, drop the chin into the chest, curling down. Pull the belly button in as you roll down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, curling up. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Inhale at the bottom, and exhale. Nice big inhale, exhale, let it go one more time. Inhale as deep as you can, fill those lungs, fill the belly, hold it here for seven seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
three, two, one, and slowly exhale. And you guys are all done. Thank you for joining me for your level 1.5 FIT class. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for Becky's class tomorrow. Also, um, I don't know if you saw the post about now providing virtual private ses sessions. So if that's something that you're interested in, please message the Facebook page or email the Club Pilates email for more information. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Um, participate in our bridge challenge also. We have the whole week to do it. Um, so if you don't want to post pictures of yourself doing it, comment and be like, this is what I did and um, what you thought about it. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday and I will see you on Friday. All right. Bye, guys.